Hey there, I'm Tom, also known as Bamboo Leaves. Today we're going to delve into a track in the style of Christian Loeffler. On this channel we break down various alternative electronic genres and artists so that you can see how it's done. So if that interests you, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one as they come out. So with that out of the way, let's jump over to the DAW and check out this soft, lush, housey style track that I've made. Okay, we'll start from the top, we'll work our way down to the bottom. First up, we've got all these soft house, organic sounding drums, so let's listen to those as a group. Okay, so like really natural, found sound, side chaining y kind of field recording. First up, we've got this kick. So you might hear that there's more than just a kick there, there's these side-chaining-y sounds that are going on with it. So first, I started off with this 808 kick sound, so I made it a bit shorter than it was intentionally. And I chose the 808 because it's a really round, subby, nice sounding kick that's not too aggressive. It's not like deep house, subby, clicky in your face, it's just kind of soft. Right, so without any of that processing, I threw on an EQ where I rolled off some more of those top ends. Not really much to it, but I wanted to make sure it was round and taking out the high ends would help with that. I've got this atmosphere building side chain Foley sound. So let's have a listen. So that's using the Noise Shaper by Cable Guys, and that's got this seashells side chain on top of it. And then I've also got another instance of that Shaper box, and that is doing a outside bar sound. So that's just like a field recording, someone's in a coffee shop or inside a bar with a microphone just listening to that atmosphere, and that provides quite a lot of that nice airy atmospheric sounds that goes quite well with the side chain, and it builds up this organic sound. Okay, next up I've got these snare clappy sounds, so let's have a listen to some of those. Okay, so no kind of classic snares or claps in there, it's all sort of found sound sounding. So first up I've got this wood sound. So that's two different samples that I've taken from the same uh, Foley sample loop. So we've got one that's got a few more transients, and then one that's just got a very short transient. And that's good to give it a bit of variation in these snares so that it's not all the same sound and it's a bit stale. The only processing I've got on there is a little bit of a mid-range bump and a top-end roll off. Let's have a look at the next one, it's just this clap. Okay, so that's a clap, that is a 808 clap, classic sounding. I used an EQ to roll off some of that top end, and once again I've used the noise shaper to use a key rattle. And instead of it doing the side chaining from it, so every time it plays it will duck it, it follows the input signal, every time it plays on those claps, it will put a key rattle over the top. So it's that high end Foley sound, and I've got that, so instead of it being like a really long release, I've got it nice and short, just like that, so that it sort of feels like it's layered on top of that clap. Instead of layering it on top using this plug in, I could have taken a key rattle sample and just put it on top and have it fade out as the clap plays, but this way it keeps it within the same track. Alright, next up I've got a Foley hit. I think that's a clock ticking that I've pitched down, taking out some lows and highs with the EQ on that one. If you zoom in, you can see that the transients are not hitting you know, at the same time, so it gives a bit more of that flam sound. Lots of different textures all happening at once there. Got another Foley sound that's kind of doing the same thing. That one's happening on a few of the snare hits, but not all of them. And again, building a bit more variance and texture to these claps. 
So this one here, I've got a reverse snap, really quiet, but here I will have taken one of these samples from up here, I think it would have been the wood, bounced it in place, it would have created another version of this, I'd have then gone over into the top left hand corner, reverse the sound, so instead of it sounding like this, it would have sounded like this. And then that just goes into these other snare sounds to kind of lead in with a bit of a reverse sometimes. And then finally, I've got a, another Foley sound. So it's just like a kind of field recording-y found sound thing. And that's just there on a bit of an offbeat to provide a bit more interest instead of just the four, clap, four, clap, four to the floor, clap, 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 clap. Also then got a shaker that comes in in the second half. I've got that playing on the upbeats. That comes in on the second half, keeps the track driving, moving forwards. And these natural shakers are something Christian Loeffler uses in his music as well. Right on. So let's listen to all those drums again. Let's move on to the instrumental parts of it. So let's play all these instrument sections here. Okay, first up, I've got these distorted bloopy sounds. Without any of the processing on it, it'd sound more like this. A lot cleaner. So that is a quick sampler in Logic that has the default patch enabled, which is just a sine wave, so it sounds like a... I've got that kind of sounding like a plucky key sound through using the uh, envelope here. I then threw on a decapitator, so adding some saturation to that sound. Without it, with it. So adding some more harmonics, a little bit more edge to it. I threw on a reverb, filling out that stereo field a little bit. Nice and soft, lush sounding. Got an EQ on there. It's nice to see all those harmonics. So without the decapitator, without that saturation, it's just that single sine wave note with the decapitator. You're getting all those harmonics, and that's where you're hearing those kind of more harsh, distorted tones coming through, but not too many of them. I've got an RC20, so I'm basically putting on a little bit of... a little bit of tube noise on top of that. Really subtle, if it was higher. But nice and low. And then I've got the width section pushed out wide, so it's a bit wider as well. Then to widen it out even further, I've got a sample delay where the right hand signal is delayed by a small amount. So that's right pushed out to the sides now. So that's providing a little bit of the bed to the sound. It's not very audible without soloing it. It's just meant to sit there underneath it and fill out that frequency spectrum. All right, next we've got this bass synth sound. Really simple, just evolving, filtered bass sound. I'm getting this from Christian Loeffler using quite simple bass synths to provide that low end. Without any of the processing, the sound generation is like this. So that I'm using a sawtooth wave plus a square wave. And that is using the filter envelope to open up slowly then decay off a little bit. And then I've got a sine level, sine wave that's kind of blended in there to give that cleaner bass tone in there as well. I've put a saturator on there, so a decapitator, giving it a little bit more crunch, a little bit more body. I don't want it too crispy, so I'm rolling off some of those top ends. And I've got a compressor on there to rein in. Keep it a nice flat volume as well, and keep it in its little volume box. The other two instrumental parts of this are some string violin sounds. Okay, so that's made up from the first one, which is the strings high section. So 
sound generation on that one. I've got a contact violin sound effectively that's got a bit of reverb on it. I've got the low ends rolling off and I've also got some sample delay on there to spread the signal out nice and wide. And I've also duplicated that and I'm playing a lower note down here. But that one, it's not using the stereo delay to push it out wide. It's just got that sound straight down the middle in the mono. Both of them together, you've got the wide higher ones and the mono central lower one. And they've got like a nice amount of reverb on there provided by contact. There's not too many sort of obvious instrumental parts on this one. A lot of it's just kind of like the bed sounds but you would probably with like Christian Loeffler you probably have some vocals on top of this and I wasn't going to replicate those so this is more the instrumental parts to some of his tracks and you might throw in some chopped vocals or some nice sort of uh, soft sounding singing on top of that in his style and that would probably fit quite well with what I've got here. So just to note on top of that I've got all of those instrumental sections they're all bussed off to bus 11, which has got a track spacer on it, which is doing my side chaining. So with the kick and the uh, side chain instrumental bus, So that's just side chaining those so that my kick can ring through. It gives a little bit of pump and a little bit of movement to the sound as well. You can have a listen and then we'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get around to answering them. Once again, if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to this channel so that you can catch more videos just like this one as they come out. But other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.